Hi, this is Ash of SFFS. Today I'll introduce a software called Character Creator. This must be good news for animation students who need human characters for their 3D animation projects but doesn't want to do a bunch of tedious work just for it. For those of you who like that, I'll show you a quick and easy way of making a human character with this software. On the right, you'll see some boxes that look like the ones that we use to customize game characters in any RPG game. If you want, you can fix the details too. It's just like customizing Sims characters, but you're yet to be surprised because there are more amazing features in this software. To me, it was the most amazing one. You can download clothes from Sketchfab and load them through CC3. Get the position and adjust posture. If you get the right skin weight transfer and collision, the clothes will stick to the model's skin. The next one is a jacket. Load the jacket and adjust the volume with this brush. Adjust the vertex position with soft selection and apply skin weight transfer. And that's it! Do you see how natural the posture looks? Pretty amazing, right? There's another thing that I want to introduce. It's called Gozi. In ZBrush, you can fix the shape of the character into whatever you would like. After you save, go back to the character creator and click Gozi to load the character. I made the character to wear a shirt with ordinary clothing. For a vest, I just made them in ZBrush and loaded it with Gozi button. You're probably thinking, wow, it is that easy to create a 3D character? But this video that I'm dubbing is not introducing how to load the character that you created with Character Creator in Maya. So I did it myself. First off, I downloaded the cartoon pack. It comes with 5 extra libraries. Get the right size and the proportion. In this software, the size of the centimeter is the same as the centimeter in real life. So rather than making the head big for an adjustment, I would recommend you to set the height from the current position first. There are a whole lot of features in the software, but they were not as convenient as I expected. So I decided to stick with the old tool, ZBrush. When I opened the model, surprisingly, there was a mess. It didn't look like a normal topology. You see, the skin is all wrinkled. I was very disappointed, and I thought that maybe I cannot use the software after all. But I did some research and realized the updated version provides character models that have a perfect apology. So I'm using version 3.2, so what can I do? I got rid of all the wrinkles and fixed the torso. After the fix, I clicked Gozi. Soon after, Gozi options popped up in the character creator. Make sure you press the update button after you check the update action. Then you'll see that the character is loaded in the form that I fixed in ZBrush. Next, I moved on to clothes. I will make a simple shirt and a pair of short pants. There must be a lot of ways of making them, but I started by separating the base mesh. There was a new update version of ZBrush 2021 called Cloth Brush. It was a pretty convenient tool to use, so I would recommend. Maybe I can talk about this in the next video. Meanwhile, I finished the pants. Then I go eat the shirt and go eat the pants. Surprisingly, they're automatically adjusted to the character. You might wonder how is this possible? It is because the skin weight is automatically applied when you bring clothes through clothing action. Then I adjusted the posture, and you'll see there were some of the parts that the skin was revealing. Here comes more adjustment time. I thought calculating collision might help, so I pressed it. And you see, the shirt is tucked into the pants. This feature is called cold layer setting. But it wasn't really what I want. So I made the pants bigger. Good. Now, let's get the posture. Let me teach you one simple trick. If the character is wearing clothes, it is best to hide all the inner polygons. It makes your life a lot easier. Finally, I moved this model to Maya. You can extract the model with FBS file format. I open FBX file with Maya. The normal map is not applied, but if you change the color space of each normal map, you'll see this beautiful preview. The model automatically comes with the joints and skin weight from the character creator. This is the popular rigging modular tool. It is called Advanced Skeleton 5. You can use name matcher function to link. Just press from the top to the bottom, and that's the end. Don't forget to fix the pole vector though. There's blend shape controller. With this, you can bring the face expressions. Do you see the movement? The rigging is very well done. It's all linked to the advanced skeleton 5, so you can use all the previous features. So far, I explained how to make a character creator and how to load it into Maya. I think this software is a good tool to use. It makes it possible for anyone to make a human character by themselves, and it is not unnecessarily complicated. You can skip a whole lot of steps for making a human character in the character creator. The downside is that this tool is only limited to human characters. You cannot use the software to create animals, creatures, etc. 
If they are further updates, it might be possible to create animals and creatures with character created one day. As the software develops, artists need to improve their competence in using them. Most of the technical difficulties are fixed by software developers. Thanks to them, creating 3D is becoming less challenging. Anyone can enjoy the world of 3D. So that's the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please press subscribe and the thumbs up button. I'll come back with more interesting and useful videos next time. Thank you for watching!